I got two gay guys. I right, was popping piglets. We'll go back to the gay for mailbox number three. Three. Number three. And uh, this is the first one that's going to be on the new channel. Of course, gay for made too. Please subscribe. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. All right, so first we got the uh, Lego box. So we're going to cut this open. So we got the... So we got the Lego Ninjago... Uh, I think it's Nia's... Samurai X mech. So yeah, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of Lego. I don't really collect Legos all that much nowadays. I get one or two sets like maybe once a year. There was a really important reason why I had to get this. And obviously, if you've been following Lego recently, you 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 have an idea of what I'm talking about. But I just thought this was really cool. It's got a lot of minifigs over here. It's got a, like eight of them, and just a really sweet mech. Ninjago does this really cool stuff with like the line where it's just like lots of random stuff and they've been doing these really sweet giant mechs that are like clearly influenced by like a lot of anime mechs. I'll probably get around to building this because I like them. I need to get the, the Jay's mech I think it is. It's another blue one. But yeah this line like it's just really cool. You know it's a little, a little expensive and again this is probably going to be my main Lego purchase this year. But again there was a, there was an important reason why I needed to get this this time. And that reason was of course to get the new Lego Bionicle tribute set. So it's a 200 piece little set, no minifigs obviously. It comes with like a brand new version of the original Toa Tahu, as well as a Mictoran Takua, which is really sweet. So it's not it's not quite the uh, Bionicle relaunch that people were hoping for, but it's still pretty cool. I'm just glad to see that Lego is willing to give reverence to some of their best lines, some of the most influential ones for people my age, you know, old people. Now you know Gay from A, and he a rich motherfucker. You know he got three of them. That's right, boys. I got three Lego Bionicle Tahu sets. Gay from A, if you got so much money, why don't you got a girlfriend? Because I bought three Lego Tahu Bionicle sets. That's why. Uh, I plan on keeping one. This one's probably the best looking one. I think it's the one that I just got out of my box. So I'm probably gonna keep this one sealed. I might even buy a case for it, honestly, so it stays pristine. One of them I'm gonna open. The other one's my brother's, so you know he's just gonna do whatever he wants with it, whether he's gonna keep it sealed or open. I got three of them because I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> Next on the list, we got an Amazon box. So I'm gonna cut this open real quick. So this is just another pre-order that I did. I, I tend to just pre-order stuff whenever things like look like they're about to come out because a lot of stuff doesn't even like sell out in pre-orders. Like Japanese figures tend to, but like a lot of like Western figures don't. Okay, so keeping up with that theme, you know your boy, he got two breakdowns. That's right, boys. I got two gay guys. Yeah, I, I had to order two because I want one to keep in robot mode or play with or display and I bought a second one obviously to keep attached to Menasaur. I think I have doubles of everybody except for Wild Rider so I gotta pick up another Wild Rider at some point. Even though they're Legacy Evolution they are in the original packaging for Legacy. That's something that like they tried to accentuate during the PulseCon coverage which I thought was really silly because there's no plastic in the packaging so like who cares if it's like the same. If it's like mint in box it doesn't matter. I could just you know reach in Fuck with the toys. These boxes aren't that great. That's fine. Like I said, I'm, I plan on at some point in the future opening both of them. Ideally, I would actually get a second Menasaur too, and I might just kind of watch the market to see if maybe he like goes on sale or like drops in price or something like that. And then I can have a Motormaster and a Menasaur and have like, you know, two sets of each. Because I'm rich, because I got paper, because I got money, because I'm lonely and I'm sad and I'm gonna fucking die alone. But at least I have my anime toys. So last thing, we got an Ami Ami box. Here we have the Ami Ami box. Okay. I finally hit one of them. So of course in the Ami Ami box we always get an illustration. So this one's cute. It's got these two girls. This one girl has like an Ami Ami. She's got like an Ami Ami like hairpin. Yeah, see I nicked it a little bit right here. So this one was done by Rhea. So go check out Rhea. I'll see if I can find their uh, their Twitter handle and I'll put it in the description or something. Oh, so she has a name actually, look at that. Her name is Amiko, uh, Ami Ami's magical mascot girl. I was right when I said that she was like a magical girl. So like the one I got in the winter, uh, yeah, this one. I said she was like a magical girl. I think it's the same girl. All right, so there we go. We got three of them and one of them is damaged now. So that sucks, but you know, it's okay. It's just paper. Okay, so we got the Ami Ami box. This one's not as jam-packed as some of the other ones. Just got a couple of things. So first things first, this one's might not be as interesting for everybody, but I was really excited to get it. I can't get it out of the box. Okay, so we got from Ami Ami, Full Power Gridman model kit from Good Smile Company. So I have just a little bit of experience with this line since I do have their Dynazenon, and uh, it was a pretty 
interesting build. It was like a really high quality build, but like some of the machining seemed like really tight and it was really hard to get like certain parts together. So I'm very keen to see how different this one is, if it's like been improved at all. So yeah, it's Gridman from the Gridman anime series. It has all the vehicles, you can combine them into the full full power Gridman. Looks like it comes with lots of accessories, it comes with the Gridman Caliber and all the other guys. So, pretty excited to check this one out. Don't know if I'll do a review of it or not, because it looks like it'll it'll probably take me a lot of time to get it done. I'm like, I'm still working through my, my Dark Advent Isis. If you guys have seen the other game from Millbox, that one was in like the last one, I think. So there's that, that's cool. Love Gridman, can't wait for the movie. So last thing today, and this one's pretty exciting. This thing's definitely something I wanna cover on the channel. The Shoujo Girls Optimus Prime statue. Holy shit. All right, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and let's open this one up too. Okay, so here she is, super cute. There she is with the big man himself. Some shots on the back of the box. Of course, this one also comes with some extra pieces as well. That's cool. I do have a Megatron coming actually. This one should ship this week. So I'm, I'm actually gonna be getting her pretty soon too. And of course they uh, they revealed Bumblebee who's on pre-order now. So I gotta put my pre-order in. So yeah, let's just open her up. Let's check her out. Once again, opening from the bottom whenever we can. I like this line. I have just a couple of these that I've collected over the years. So you could say that I'm a bit of a fan. I have not smelled plastic to this capacity in a long time. Just the, the level of like chemicalness. I used to notice it a lot more with like Japanese import figures when I was younger. So let's pop her out. Ooh. All right, let's get all this plastic off of her. Ooh, it's like I'm undressing her. It's kind of lewd, isn't it? And there she is. Look at this pretty lady. Oh man, I didn't break her hair, did I? It's just asymmetrical like that. Dog, bro, look at that. So yeah, there's nothing to assemble. She's just pre-assembled in the box, pre-painted everything. That's cool. So yeah, look at it. She cut out. She's got all these little details that are, you know, reminiscent of Optimus Prime. She's standing on an Autobot style base as well. Doesn't feel cheap, which is great because it, it's it's a relatively cheaper line of uh, statues. Like she's only about like just over a hundred bucks. So yeah, I do plan on doing like a brief coverage of this figure on the channel proper, maybe a small review of it. But yeah, super excited to have this. Really cool to check it out. And then of course, yeah, I have the uh, Alien Attack Optimus Girl. She's just a little bit smaller. They're like almost the exact same size. And you can see like the, the, the differences in the aesthetics. I do definitely prefer the Bishoujo version. This is not the review, by the way. I like the aesthetics of like wearing sort of a, a designed costume that's intended to represent the character. There's a difference between like an outfit and like a really strange looking cosplay. It's like, it's the same reason why I don't really like a lot of cosplays where it's just like, oh, I'm wearing a bikini and I'm wearing like a character wig. That, that's what this feels like. That's the end of this mailbox. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Really appreciate it. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to this new Gay For May 2 channel. Subscribe to the Gay For May main channel if you want to see more Transformers reviews. And again, I'm going to be getting into some anime tour reviews later this year. So please look forward to that. And uh, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.